Another teenager walks away from Jabalt Children's Services in Terre Haute and ends up in handcuffs. Neighbors called police after the teen was seen trespassing. News 10's Brittany Earl is live in the newsroom with details as to what happened and with reaction from neighbors. Brittany? Mark Patrice, it's a growing problem for police and surrounding neighborhoods of Jabalt. The number of teens that continue to leave Jabalt campus is growing. Several of those teens have destroyed property, and community members are wondering whose responsibility is it to fix this? Police say around 8 this morning, a young female teen walked off Jabalt campus and into Richland Manor, a neighborhood close to the campus. Officers were called when the residents complained of her trespassing. In the past, Jabal officials told News 10 that workers are not allowed to restrain the teens from leaving. But according to Richland Manor's Homeowner Association President, Kale Ellis, not doing anything isn't helping. You know, I think the callousness of Jabalt in stating that there's nothing they can do about it is absolutely incorrect. I think, you know, they're accepting more violent offenders. Uh, and there's a lot of things they can do about it, and I think, unfortunately, uh, you know, perhaps a lawsuit is going to be the only thing that's going to wake them up. You know. Now, you may remember back in October, three Jabalt teens that walked off were accused of stealing a car from Walmart, beating up a man at White Castle, and then crashing the car. One person died in that case. Now, Ellis says neighbors in Richland Manor subdivision and other surrounding communities see teen walk-offs happen more often than the reported. Ellis also says Indiana State Police, according to their documents, that they responded to 200 calls in 2009 at Jabalt campus, and that number has just continued to rise. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Brittany Earl. Patrice, back to you. Thank you, Brittany. Police say that the teen was taken to the Vigo County Juvenile Center for delinquency runaway charges.